Another week, another Platinum Trophy. This week we are swinging our way back to New York, but this time to play as Miles Morales himself in Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Of course I had to get this game done before the heavily anticipated Spider-Man 2 that is set to be released in October. Before we get any further into today's video, pressing both like and subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to press that bell icon as well. Miles Morales, we are looking at a total of 50 trophies, 37 of them are bronze, 10 are silver, 2 of gold, and of course, the platinum trophy itself. Uh, straight from the start, I knew there was uh, a lot of miscellaneous trophies that I could pick up straight away. If I didn't get it done now, there was an opportunity later on during the New Game Plus playthrough that I had to do. But of course, for the first trophy, we had to smash 15 breakable objects while steering Rhino through the shopping mall. For this, we get the trophy like a rhino in a china shop. Shortly after this, for riding Rhino through the mall, we receive the trophy Rhino Rodeo. After all that mess has been cleaned up, Miles and Peter have a sit down. Peter tells Miles that he's got a present for him. After going to meet Genki and putting the suit on, we receive the trophy, a gift from Pete. After fighting some more bad guys, we are prompted that we can now have a suit mod. After crafting one, we receive the trophy, mod that suit. Bit more story related stuff and now we are tasked with finding our uncle and getting the trains up and running again. For doing this we get the trophy, the Harlem Express. Before heading into the next mission I decided to go around and collect some of the collectible. While collecting some of these I was also solving crimes as they were popping up. After completing two of the bonus objectives during the crime I am given more of a reward. Uh, this extra reward allowed me to craft a visor mod for crafting one of these I received the trophy look with better eyes. This next trophy is the final story related trophy for a little while. Due to the explosion on the bridge, we had to hold it together for civilians to get across, but the last civilian fall. After saving her and making our way back up the bridge with her, whilst also dodging all the vehicles that are coming towards us, we received the trophy hanging by a thread. It's time to take a break from all the story action and get into not only collecting the collectibles, but also some spider training challenges. I started to traverse the entirety of the map collecting the collectibles and getting some other spider training challenges done as well. Uh, first up is the combat challenge and for getting spectacular or better in the combat challenge we receive the trophy punching pixels. Next up is the traversal challenge and for getting spectacular or better in this we receive the trophy launch swing and dive. A quick side trophy now, while getting a collectible that was on a boat, we get a trophy for riding the derelict boat in southern Chinatown. This trophy is called, I'm on a boat. Then of course, back to the spider training, the final one is a stealth challenge, and for getting spectacular in this, we receive the trophy, Dodging Light. I then continued to complete all of the spider training challenges that was left, and for completing them all, we received the trophy, Spider Training Complete. Shortly after this I head out to collect the final time capsule that I've been collecting and for collecting this final one we received the trophy Urban Explorers. Now that we had completed all of the spider training challenges, Pete had just one more test for us to do. Hollow Pete talked us through his first fight with the Vulture and of course this is where we fight the Hollow Vulture. For completing the final test we received the trophy Pete's First Villain. Next up was a story related mission, I had to get this done as I needed to open up something else in the world, uh, so I needed to get this story mission done and completed so I could collect that. Uh, we investigated Roxxon's underground lamb and while doing this we found out that our uncle is actually the prowler. However, for investigating the lamb we received the trophy, the core of the problem. Now it's time for me to get distracted and do a lot of side stuff. While taking one down one of Roxanne's labs, I managed to perform a total of 100 stealth takedowns. For doing this, we received the trophy, nowhere to hide. We then finished taking down the Roxanne lab and sh for shutting them all down, we received the trophy under their noses. While making our way through the FNSM app requests, I managed to defeat a total of 100 enemies using Venom Attack. This gave us the trophy, Overcharge. I then had enough tokens to craft more upgrades I re and I received the trophy kit bash for crafting 10. Then finally after about 30 minutes I finally completed all of the FNSM app requests and received the trophy 5 star review. As we continue on through the story we find out that Finn is the tinkerer. We approach her and ask her to join in an attempt to find out where the hideout is. Turns out that the underground hideout is actually using Fist Tower as a hideout. After exploring we of course change back into Spider-Man and take out some of the underground. While camouflaged we took out 50 enemies in total giving us the trophy Invisible Spider. 
At this point now we have also learned a new Venom move. We have Venom Jump and Venom Smash but we have now also learned Venom Dash. By performing a Venom Jump and then a Venom Dash on a single enemy we receive the trophy up and over. After infiltrating the underground's vault and beating up all of the underground members we complete the vault sequence for the trophy True Deception. Now that we have the move Venom Dash, there is a trophy related to this. We use Venom Dash to throw an enemy into a group of three or more. While I definitely didn't do this correctly, I still got the trophy from downtown. I then came across countless waves of enemies and realized this is the perfect time to get another trophy. We performed a 100 times combo for the trophy, 100 times combo. For beating the countless waves of enemies, which was also a side mission, we unravel a criminal conspiracy in Harlem for the trophy, Come at the King. At this point as well some underground hideouts have popped up, this also shows the remaining underground caches that we need. Uh, we make our way through these and of course first of all I collect the remaining caches for the trophy salvager. Then we quickly shut down the underground hideouts for the trophy underground undone. As we are closing in on the end of the game, it's time for me to get some of the miscellaneous trophies done. We first apply a sticker and customized lighting in, while in photo mode for the trophy J. Jonah Jameson would be proud. We pay our respects to a legend in the Upper West Side for the trophy Best Fries in Town. We head on over to the Jefferson Davis Grave in Harlem for the trophy Never Give Up. Uh, some combat based trophies now, we perform a total of 25 wall takedowns for the trophy climbing the walls and then we do the ceiling version of that which was to perform a total of 25 ceiling takedowns for the trophy from the rafters. A quick story related trophy now as we head to the t as we chase the chinker tinkerer through the city. <laughs> At the end of this we reveal to Finn our identity and she disappears. For chasing the tinkerer through the city though we receive the trophy Velocity Skaters. Now back to collectible, we collect all of the sound samples and recreate the Davis Brothers mix for the trophy Deep Cuts. Next up we meet a new version of the Rhino. At the beginning of the game, Roxanne decides to keep Rhino around and give him sort of an upgrade. Uh, for defeating the Roxanne version of Rhino, we receive the trophy Exploding Bulldozer. Now that I am even closer to the ending, I want to make sure that everything that can be done and can be completed before the end of the game is actually completed. I go back through all of the crimes on the crime app and complete all of the bonus objectives for every kind crime type. For this, we receive the trophy Crime Master. I then go back to one of the easier enemy bases and I need to complete the enemy base without being detected. Thankfully this is relatively easy and I just stand up on the walls and ceilings uh, to quietly take them all down for the trophy, never saw it coming. And this is everything that I can do without continuing on with the story. So while making our way to the exhibit where Finn is, we are taken by the Prowler as he is trying to supposedly protect us. However, the Prowler underestimates us and we face him in battle. Of course, we beat him and for beating the Prowler, we receive the trophy Family Drama. We are now in a flashback sequence and there is a trophy here that I need to make sure that I get. There is a rocket launch minigame during this and we just have to make sure that we beat Finn. For beating Finn in this minigame, we receive the trophy Competitive Spirit. And of course, for beating the flashback story mission, we receive the trophy Shared History. Finn escapes and we are left to defeat the enemies that have surrounded me. While here, I remembered I just need one more combat trophy, which is to defeat a total of 50 enemies with a remote mind gadget. Uh, for defeating all 50 enemies, we receive the trophy Trapped. After an intense battle with Finn, what was supposed to take down the Raxan Plaza is looking to take out all of Harlem. Explosions are currently happening and we slowly make our way towards it. After absorbing all of the energy that is given up, Finn takes us into the sky as otherwise we would be the reason everything that is destroyed. Once we are up there, we end up exploding and this unfortunately looks like the end of Finn. We crash land into the ground, but thankfully we of course survive. And for saving Harlem, we receive the trophy ultimate sacrifice now that we have completed the story there are just a couple more things that we need to do before we play the game again but this time on new game plus there is now a collectible in all of the districts and this time it is postcards for collecting all of these postcards we receive the trophy memory lane this of course then gives us another trophy called a new home for getting 100 percent in all of the districts 
there is just one more thing we uh, need to do before we go into New Game Plus and this is to scroll through the entire social feed. And for going through all of the social feed, which probably took about two minutes, we received the trophy, Socially Acceptable. It's New Game Plus time and thankfully there isn't much to do here. First things first, I finished purchasing all of the suits for the trophy, ready for anything. And after leveling up a couple more times, I am finally able to purchase the last of the skills for the trophy, just the beginning. And now it's time to complete the game for the second time. And after a couple of hours of playing through the story, only playing the story, I finally get it completed for the trophy plus plus. And of course, last but not least, the platinum trophy itself, be yourself. Just like the first game, Miles Morales is absolutely fantastic and a great introduction to the character. Yet another platinum trophy that I highly recommend going for. 